Hey everyone, Mindy here. Hey, I am going live today to share with you some social media strategies to begin with. Uh, we just spent the weekend with corporate with Tori Bell. We got to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Jennifer and Laura, um, and it was incredible, which we're actually gonna go on. Johnette came with me, and hey Johnette, thanks for the heart. Hey, so we will come on, and I'm gonna take about 20 minutes here. Johnette's gonna hop on, then we're gonna talk about um, our experience. And if you guys have any questions about corporate or any questions about the company, we can definitely answer those for you. So be thinking of those. Uh, if you guys are watching it live, I want you to comment below and write and type live. If you're on the replay, we wanna know about the replay as well. If you guys have any questions, I don't care if you're watching this video a week after I've done this, just comment, we will get the notification and we will answer your questions. So, hey Kara, hey Tracy, thanks for hopping on ladies. Um, okay, so my topic for today is social media. That's a very, very broad topic. And so what I am going to do is focus on Instagram for today, just because that is the main, the main social media platform that people are successful at. So yes, Facebook's still around. Yes, uh, YouTube is always good as well. Um, but today, because I could spend all day talking about these things, uh, I decided to just kind of narrow it down to one topic. I am able to go live whenever and talk about more. So, hey Becky. All the way from Florida, that's exciting. Okay, so let me just start by introducing myself. My name is Mindy Saunders. I live in Northern Utah in a small town uh, called Smithfield. It's just north of Logan, Utah, if anybody knows where that's at. The whole valley is basically Cache Valley because we're in like this surrounded by mountains type of thing. It's beautiful here, I love it. Um, I spend my time working my business, uh, spending my time with my family. We like to go skiing in the winter time and then basically all the mountainous summer stuff that you can do in the summertime. So that's what we enjoy doing. Uh, Katie from North Carolina, hello, hello. Thanks for hopping on. Um, I have an identical twin sister who her name is Mandy. And so we've just been building our brand, Mindy and Mandy. Uh, we have been, uh, people, we, all get, we get asked the question, like how long have you guys been working on it? Um, truthfully, if you, you are your brand, we've been working on it for 33 years now type of thing. But when we actually really uh, started posting to like the social media and that uh, was about eight years ago. It started on YouTube. We kind of started just posting videos of just us having fun together and just doing all that fun stuff. It was when YouTube really kind of started taking off and uh, we enjoyed that kind of stuff. And so we just started putting those videos up on YouTube and it, and it started to kind of grow and it was kind of exciting. Um, we had a video that went viral and at that point we were like, okay, let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, let's have some fun and, and see where this can go. Um, and then it was probably about f six years ago. So we started with YouTube and then Facebook came around, right? So we started working that, um, that platform and then lately it's been Instagram that we're working on and growing on. So um, our biggest platform right now is YouTube. We have been working on it the longest. Um, it's our biggest following there, and uh, we work it where we can kind of work all three platforms and just kind of keep going that way. So, Cash Valley Love, Carrie, you know where it's at. That's exciting. Hey, Anna. Oh, Caitlin, you're a cutie. Hey, Caitlin, so glad you're here. Yay. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. All right, so uh, let's get started. Um, so, the subtopic. That I that kept coming to mind that I wanted to talk to you guys about more of like a motivational talk quote whatever you call it is to stay balanced that's super 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 important in anything that you do in your life if you guys saw my post that I made last night um, it's all about uh, Mandy and I grew up in uh, tumbling and gymnastics it was our passion we absolutely loved it um, and there's something that's that's taught in tumbling um, but let me let me back up. So then we did tumbling for about six years. Um, after high school, we both uh, coached, coached at a tumbling gym, and uh, we both have started our own business, which is hey Mandy, Mandy's here. Everyone say hey to Mandy. All those hearts, I love it. Thanks, thanks, ladies. Um, so since then, so that's been twelve years that we have uh, started our own business, our own tumbling business, which was super fun, dream come true for both of us. And uh, we've just never actually been able to step away from it. And here we are at 33 years old and it's still a huge, huge passion of ours. 
along with everything else that we do. So um, with tumbling, there are four main things that you can teach somebody uh, through all of the warm-ups, um, all the things that we do. And it's flexibility, coordination, balance, and strength, okay? And what I like to teach my students is these are all important, but without balance, you're gonna fall. And that goes with anything in your life, anything. You have got to make sure that you keep the balance because if you don't, the other things, in, other aspects in your life will start to, to crumble and everything just kind of comes down. You'll lose your motivation. Um, yes, all, the, all those things. You just gotta make sure that you stay balanced. So balance to people can mean different things. Um, so what I'm going to share with you real quick before we get started is uh, the step-by-step -step things that I try to do every each and every single day to make sure that my life stays balanced. Um, and before you guys think that I'm here preaching that I'm perfect, I completely am not. It's an it's a day-to-day -day challenge challenge for me to make sure that I do all the all these things and um, stay successful because I because I am. So I'm gonna draw a little picture for you guys here for a little art art session. So you take a triangle, okay? This is like the best analogy that I have found. I'm gonna give the credits to Maddie. She actually, I was telling her, give me some ideas. This is kind of what I'm going off of. And she's like, have you seen the triangle? Sends it over and I'm like, you're genius. Way to go, I'm using it. Okay, so you have a little triangle here. If you guys can see this. I'm using a green marker. Um, I don't have another one with me, so we'll hope this works. Okay, so the triangle. You want this triangle to stay upright, okay? Stay in a triangle shape. So what you need to do is start from the top and work from the bottom, okay? So on the top, I'm going to write me, okay? We've all been on the plane, seen where it said, okay, we lose oxygen, what's gonna happen? These things are gonna drop, okay? You're gonna take this mask, and what do they tell you to do? You have got to put the mask on yourself first. You've gotta put the mask on yourself first, and then you can help your little kids or whoever's next to you that might need help, okay? If you don't do that, you could lose your oxygen and you're no use. Same thing applies with what we are doing in this business. You have got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Now think for a minute, like what does that mean to you? To me, it means I've got to make sure that I'm getting the exercise that I need. I'm eating right. I'm getting enough sleep. Um, Self-care. I if, I if my hair's grown out, I'm not confident, right? So I just make sure that I'm doing all those things for me that makes me feel like, like a million bucks. Right? Uh, so just kind of take that for a moment and just think about that. Maybe even like make a list as we're talking, um, all that fun stuff. Okay, so that's on the top. The next one is going to be for me, it's wife. I am in this category is meal planning. I need to make sure that I'm doing everything that makes a good wife because that's really, really important to me. And that comes into the whole balance thing for sure. Uh, that can relate to, to me in my life big time. Um, if my husband sees that I'm happy and succeeding and and being being happy with him and the kids, it's, it's a, a good step in keeping balanced for sure. Um, so the next thing I wanted to write on here is making sure that I am a good mother. I have four kids, you guys, it's busy. It's busy, busy, busy. Some days I don't hardly get anything done, um, but I can go to bed that night knowing that I spent the time with my kids that I needed to. I got them to their activities. I made sure that they had some good healthy meals. I uh, One thing that that I learned probably about two, two years ago, um, when I'm, when I'm feeling a little bit frustrated, because I do have those days, I my favorite thing to do is just kind of have some alone time, maybe go drive in the car or something somewhere, and just Google, or not Google, YouTube a video that says how to stay balanced, right? Keep it super, super broad, just how to stay balanced. And I just start to listen to like motivational talks. There's a lot of podcasts out there, and it can just kind of just start to refuel me and, and help me understand maybe what I need to be doing to, to get better. So... One thing that I heard that has stuck with me and I try each and every day to do 
is with my four children, okay, I have an 11 year old, an eight year old, a five year old, and a three year old. And all of them are different. Some of them need more attention. Some of them, all they need is a hug for the day. Um, one of one of my boys wants me to put him to bed every night, which I love, okay? I know it's not always gonna be that way. And, and I want to know that I did that when he needed me to, okay? So my goal every day is to make sure that I spend at least 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. And that is going to just keep me um, being a good mom, making me feel like I accomplished the whole mother thing for the day. And when I do that, it's, it's, it's awesome. So if that, if that rings into anybody, try that. Okay, the last thing here that I put in my triangle is business, okay? Now, business can be very, very, very busy and can completely take up your whole entire day. Um, so kind of things that I have done, yeah, I'm just gonna steal my idea, you guys. Okay, so things that I have done is um, when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I just know there's so much stuff that I need to do and I just don't know if it's gonna get done today, I just, it's called mind dumping, okay? So I can't tell you guys how many lists, once I mind dump, I'm just like, hey, I'm good, we're good, it's written down. How many lists I have that look like this? Just things that I know that I need to be doing in my business each and every day. So I go ahead and mind dump, and then I go and make my schedule, and I go ahead and put what's most, most important into here. And as you can see, it's 8.40, take boys to school. Um, just things that are important to me that for sure need to be put in there. I put those in there. So these are just things that have helped me. If you guys have any ideas on what to add to this, like please, please, please. Yes, Johnette, the triangle, love it. Hey, Melinda. Okay, so another second step to that is, okay, so I need to create a YouTube channel or YouTube video for this week, okay? So then I, um, on the back of my calendar here, I've got what I need to do each and every day um, to make sure that I'm fulfilling what I need to be doing. So just some ideas, hopefully that helps you guys. Okay, let's move on to social media. Okay, why, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Why is social media so important today? In a direct sales company, you used to go door to door. You used to go to um, events or have parties or all that. And it has been a complete change with social media. You can truly work from home and be successful. And I've seen it time and time again that those that follow this method explode and are way more successful than those that are kind of stuck in the older way of doing things. Um, don't get me wrong, that's still a good way to do it and people can be successful that way, but we've just seen it enough times that we're definitely convinced and that is where we put our time and efforts. So, um, you, and then also what I wanna mention is that you can, um, so you have the warm market and the cold market, okay? Your warm market is your friends and family, the people that, that know you before you actually join this company, okay? So once all of those people know what you're doing, um, how do you grow beyond that, right? Um, you can do parties, you can do all that sorts of stuff, but uh, in, or Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, has been the best way that we have found to get into your cold market, okay? You can run Facebook ads, you can run Instagram ads, um, Google ads, all that fun stuff that you're able to do now because of social media and the internet um, can you really tap into your cold market and you can really just go with it. So that is why social media. Now let's move on to the how, okay? So what I did was made a post uh, a little while ago that said, hey, I'm gonna go live um, it kind of was like an aha moment for me. I was uh, in Seattle and I just kept getting a lot of questions about, about social media and I was you know, quick to answer and I'm passionate about it and I love coaching other people. And so Johnette's in the back seat with me in the car and I'm like, I'm like, Johnette, I should just like be consistent on going live and just talking about things and let people ask me questions and then I just go ahead and answer it. And Johnette, of course, like, yes, 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 let's do that, let's do that. So I'm happy to do that if you guys uh, want me to continue to do this. What I'm gonna need from you though is questions. Okay, so any questions that you guys have along the way, just come onto this uh, team page 
and just find um, that maybe that post or something or send me a DM or something that says, hey, I would love to learn how to do this. Will you please go live on your next live and talk about it? Okay. All right. So uh, the questions that I got, let's go over those first um, for my post is, does your Insta, does your Instagram have a theme? The answer is yes, definitely, definitely. Um, and to go along that, and I'm actually got these in my notes and I'll go over it, but you want to make sure that you're consistent on what you're doing. If you're all over the place, um, people are going to lose interest and they're not going to want to follow. Um, it's, I don't know, the best way to describe that would be like if somebody came to a Mexican restaurant and wanted to get chips and salsa with, you know, their favorite, um, smothered burrito, but, um, they were, they came into the restaurant and then they were given like a Chinese menu. Like it's just, you've got to stay consistent on what you're uh, putting out there and you'll, you'll eventually start to attract those people. And then it just kind of starts to just snowball and come in that way. Um, and then also to go along with the theme, um, from what I got from that question, uh, this was a good question from Ashley Crane. And Ashley, if, if I don't answer your question, please, please, please let me know. Um, but a theme is, uh, the word that I think of is like presets. Um, so presets are really important. Um, if you do an indoor and an outdoor picture and you put them side by side, it's not going to look good. Presets help with that. And if you guys don't know what presets are, I can definitely explain that. Um, I actually have a good friend that's a photographer and she does the same thing motivationally. You follow her on Instagram. Mackenzie Deacons is her name. She is constantly giving value on um, how to be a good photographer, angles, lighting, all that fun stuff. And I have learned so much from her. And it's just, she is just willing to just share it with the world. And she's, she's incredible. And she's pretty funny. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of following her. Um, okay, so, or do you post several aspects of your life? Yes, I do. And the reason why is because um, I want people to connect. And this is super, super important for all of you. Like... Think of, yes, you're in this, this, this direct sales company that sells lashes and all this fun stuff, but how, how are you going to connect with people outside of lashes? Like say somebody is not exactly sold on the whole lash idea right now, but you might have a dog. Okay. You might be obsessed with your cute little dog. Like take a picture with your dog and post about it and talk about, um, how this dog brings you joy every day and you'll connect, you'll start to connect with people that are like, oh my gosh, I love that post. I love that inspirational thought that she came up with and they're going to learn over time to know, like, and trust you and then eventually buy from you. So that is super, super important to not, um, a good thing to stick to is a jab, 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 right hook method. Okay. Jab is, um, I love dogs. Um, I want this really awesome, um, vacation with my family who's been here or I'm going, tell me what to do. Um, another jab would be, um, spending time with your kids and posting about that. A right hook could be, hey, I'm obsessing over these lashes right now. Have you tried them yet? Um, comment below and I'll be quick to get back to you. Da, 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 da. Okay, so it's the jab, 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 right hook method. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect with this, but I sure try. And if you can kind of just do your best to stick with that, you'll be good. Okay, and then she asked about color theme, yes, and hashtags. Ooh. Hashtags are so, so important. You can use 30 hashtags when you post on Instagram. Use them, guys. Uh, Insta you And what I have found is the best. Is to, like, you make a post, you're super excited, and then you get to the hashtags, okay? It can be like a good 10, 20 minutes to just get creative and think of those hashtags, okay? When using hashtags, if you're going to use, um, like, beauty and makeup, that is so broad that it's gonna go into that category of hashtags where people can search beauty and makeup. But unless you have like a massive following or um, uh, or a ton of engagement on your post uh, where you're first starting out, you're not gonna have that. It's not gonna pop up. You're gonna get the Instagrammers popping up first because that's how, that is how uh, Instagram works their algorithms. Um, if you look at what I've posted, yes, sure, I do use beauty and makeup, and it's because I can't possibly think of another hashtag to use, and I'm going to get to 30, which is fine. Do it if that's what it is, but um, if you could do, like, magnetic eyelashes or um, definitely put in, um, like, I always put, like, Mindy and Mandy, just because somebody hears about us, they go to Instagram, search Mindy and Mandy, everything we've posted comes up. 
um, if that can relate to somebody somehow on what to post. So anyway, more questions on hashtags, let me know. It's kind of just like the, the basics of that. Okay. Oh, and one other thing with hashtags that I wanted to mention. Okay, so it is hard to think of 30K, but once you've thought of 30, take that copy and paste it into your notes so that the next time you go to post, you can just copy and paste it back onto the picture. You don't want to do that a ton because it can come across as scam um, on Instagram and they won't pull your post to the top anymore of the newsfeed. Um, but what you can do is just switch up some hashtags like um, every once in a while, just switch it up and, and have different notes where you can just go and whatever's relevant to what you're posting, you can just take and put on. Let me know if that makes sense. Um, I have a little bit of a cold, you guys. So I'm trying to get through this. Okay. Um, a good question from Anna Hone. Love you, Anna. Tips for building and growing a following. Have you done it organically? What tools and apps can be used? Okay. So let's talk about how often you should post. Um, to work those algorithms two to three times a day is key if you've got the content to post, okay? We'll talk about building content here in a minute. Um, so two to three times using those 30 hashtags. Also, stories are super, super important. And you can add, ash add hashtags and um, tag people in your stories, which is super powerful as well. Um, so, so have I done it organically? When we first started Instagram, it was... Um, back in the day when it was like, hey, buy some followers, like it's the way to do it, you know? And that quickly became like unethical in a way. Um, so if I'm being completely honest, we kind of did just because it was our, our team and upline that was like, hey, yeah, you guys should do this. It's going to grow your Instagram. But we quickly found out that um, buying followers, they're robots. And they do not engage on your posts. They do not like your posts. Yes, it looks like you got a big following. Uh, but when you actually go to post, and, and now that I've said this, you guys can go back to um, influencers and, and kind of see what kind of engagement they're actually getting on their posts, and you'll be able to kind of get an idea of what they've done to get there. Um, so you want to do it organically is my point. Um, so you'll want to uh, just make sure that you're collaborating. Um, again, collaboration, you guys, can be a whole nother topic. And there's so much, so much exciting things to learn about, about um, social media and how to grow your following. Um, so yeah, that is our two cents on that. Um, what tools and apps can be used? Buffer.com and, and Hootsuite. These are two apps that you can actually, so like to remember, because we say post three times a day, the times to post, on a side note here, is think about the times that, that you're on your phone the most. Um, if people work like a nine to five job, it's 8 a.m., it's noon, and then it's uh, 5 p.m. is the most, and the studies have shown that that's the most that people are on social media, which if you post at that time, it's when people are hopping on, it's at the top of their newsfeed, they see it, right? So if you can kind of stick to that, and it's hard to do that, it's really hard to do that, but using either buffer.com or Hootsuite, you can, thanks Mandy, um, you can actually uh, go in and schedule your posts, okay? Now, Social media companies, they are really good about switching things up overnight. Um, what I could be teaching you right now could be different tomorrow. And that's what's been kind of challenging and exciting for Maddie and I is to keep up on this and uh, educate our team as well. So um, one thing that Maddie thought that I better mention is on both of these, if you, they'll, they'll automatically post to Facebook, but if you post to Instagram, it makes you uh, manually do it. Um, so it'll say, hey, you got this, this post that's supposed to be uh, put onto Instagram. Do you want to actually post it? And then you have to go in and say yes type of thing. So yeah, it's always fun to try to keep up with these people. Um, okay. I think I've gone over a lot of things here. What are hashtags and why are they so important? We did that. Um, stories. You want to do seven stories a day. That is where the algorithms will work it, work its at its best. Um, tagging people and products, I told you that we talked about this later. Okay, so you bought the cutest outfit, you're so excited about it, you're gonna go do a little photo shoot, Instagram, husband, whatever it is. Uh, sometimes I use my 11 year old. Uh, you take a picture, you go ahead and post it. Head to toe, where did this outfit come from? If you can tag people 
chances are they can feature you. When you get featured onto uh, Down East or uh, Nike or um, any of these people that you are you're, uh, shouting out in a way, it's huge, 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 huge. You will see in Maddie and I's experience, we um, have gone from like five or 600 views on our stories to like over 5,000 because so-and-so reshared our post. So that's super, super important to do. It's a really important step. Um, so tagging people as well. If you tag somebody in a story, they can reshare on their story, which is really, really good to grow your following. Um, okay, and then as you're posting, one more thing that I wanted to mention was um, always tell stories. People, that's the best way for people to like really get to know who you are. Um, it keeps people entertained. They want to hear the end of the story. They'll stay there to hear it. Uh, there's a saying that goes along with that, facts tell and stories sell. Just something to remember when you're making a post. Talk about a personal experience that you had that might connect with somebody. Um, being vulnerable, you guys. <laughs> this is something that has been super hard for Mandy and I, if we're being completely honest. Like we're kind of private, we wanna keep things to ourselves, um, And we've been coached that you guys need to be more vulnerable. People look at look at your feed or whatever and your life's almost perfect like we know it's not perfect like be vulnerable share that um and we've been better at it we can be better i'm going to give the credit to mandy she had just had a baby and she has experienced postpartum depression like no one before and she has been sharing her story and has been connecting with women and i'm super super proud of her um so yeah think think of ways that you can share things that you haven't shared on social media yet that you can connect with somebody. Um, giving value, okay, you can get on social media and you can talk about how great your life is and all these fun things and where you're traveling and where you wanna go next. Um, but unless you're giving value, you're not gonna grow. You might a little bit, but it's like the day that you, everybody, everybody knows something, okay? Think of something like a talent or Maybe you've gone to school to learn something or um, some knowledge that you have that you would like to share. Or maybe you're just passionate about something and you've gone on YouTube and you've completely indulged yourself in it and now you know all about it. Okay, think of something like that and share it. There is something about educating somebody else on something that um, gets them to know, like, and trust you and then they buy from you. And if you can give value, they are gonna love you more deeply and follow you longer and you'll be a, they'll be a forever customer. Um, okay. All right, let's talk about content for a second. Um, I'm just about done here. Johnette's gonna hop on and uh, we will talk about our experience in Seattle this past weekend. That was incredible. Um, lots of exciting things happening and uh, we will be excited to tell you all about it. Um, okay, so content. That is, can be a rough thing if you're not used to um, always taking pictures. You've gotta have content to share. Um, in a direct sales company, there's always uh, product pictures that are being sent out, which is awesome. A lot of photographers will be the quick first to do it, especially when like new products are released. They'll always have like their logo on the picture, which is great. It's, it's their way of getting their work out there, okay? Because then people like us, are so grateful that they took that picture and we go and take it and we post on our on our social media and it just gets their name out there, okay? Um, which is great, but it's really, really important that you create your own content and here's why. Uh, you want your face. You want your face to have these lashes on it. You want your face to have the makeup that you wear. You want, uh, you want people to continually over and over and over again see your face, okay? So that is the whole content. Um, and then like I mentioned before, it's posting two to three times a day. That's a lot. Um, I don't want that to overwhelm anybody first off. Do once a day, do once every other day, do what you can. Once you get going with it, you're going to get into the groove and then I want to challenge you to do every day or twice a day um, and just see what you can do there. But creating content is key for sure. Uh, Johnette and I just spent a weekend in Seattle and you guys, I don't know if anybody's ever been to Seattle, graffiti galore, okay? We'd be driving along and just looking for like a photo op and we'd see graffiti and Johnette would like fail. I'd be right behind with my camera. We wouldn't even have a parking spot. It would be like, we'd be like, hurry Johnette, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. As people in the car like, come on guys, come on. We actually uh, found a, 
a train set, a train that had a bunch of stuff and we go by it and it's like this big old sign that says, uh, don't, don't, no trespassing. And John, I was like, we didn't see it. We didn't see it. We're going, we're going. And then of course, when we asked, like, I need a picture by this sign. So super fun. But you just got to take every opportunity that you possibly can to take photos. Okay. Because then you have them on your camera roll. You put your preset behind it. You've got content to share. Okay. Um, that's all about content. Oh, when you're posting content, um, you need to be genuine. You need to be who you are. Um, I have people all the time be like, well, I just don't think that I'm that interesting. I just don't think this. And I'm like, no, you are. Like, you, there's something unique about you that you're going to connect with people of, that are like you, okay? There's millions of people out in the world. And if your thing is yoga and you love yoga, like, 110% go for that. You're going to eventually connect with like-minded people and get those true, true followers that, you know, the world's, the internet's an amazing place to do this. You can connect with people all over the world. Um, all right. And when you're, when you're posting content, you, you want to make sure that you're genuine about it. You're real. Um, one thing that I heard that's really stuck with me is like, you can go ahead and write something up and before you post it, stop and think for a minute and be like, okay, if my mom were to read this, would she think that I'm being genuine? Is this truly who I am or my sister or my best friend? Um, so a good, good thing that I've always kind of stuck to that has been really good for me. Um, yeah. Okay. So we talked about presets. We talked about content. Um, when, when you're talking, when you're doing content, um, it's kind of important when you look at those like professional Instagrammers, you look at their page, it's like all outdoor pictures, which I, I'm not like stuck on that. Um, or, you know, alleyway pictures or, you know, graffiti pictures, um, all those fun things. It's kind of like a theme that you can stick to, which is going to make your Instagram just be super, super attractive. So, okay. That's all I have for you guys on social media and Instagram and all that fun stuff. So, um, yes, Tracy, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> Gotta love John Um, but speaking of her, we are going to have her hop on right now <laughs> oh dog your dog we're dog sitting the cutest dog and of course it's been so quiet for the last 30 minutes and then i'm like hi of course the dog's like freaking out so <laughs> hi that's okay <laughs> Okay, seriously? Really? This information. <laughs> love, love, love everything you just said. Oh, oh, thank so you. So helpful. It is. For sure. Okay, well, John, I've talked enough. 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 <laughs> okay, so Seattle, um, yeah, we did a lot of content. <laughs> we ran all over town. I hope it's not too echoey. Are you guys okay? Can you hear me? It is a little bit echoey. Okay, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna close my computer, and maybe that'll make a difference. Sometimes, if there are two computers too close together, I hear just hear like a beeping. So, if it's okay with you, I'll just keep talking. Um, Seattle was amazing. Um, getting to see a home office, getting to see and meet people. It's still so bad. It's really bad. So maybe you just want to talk. I will, what I'll do is I'll go off and then we're Okay. And I'll be there. Okay, sounds work? good. Hopefully it doesn't okay. shut off when you go away. Okay, all right, let's see. Bye. Hey, if it does, we just, yep, just I'll just hop on. Bye. Okay.